What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to be reading an old blog post that I wrote about quitting my scholarship and becoming a software developer. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wrote this blog post back in 2017 and this is on medium.com and I first of all I love writing and so it's been a while since I actually read this old post but once I read it I realized it actually taught me something honestly and I think that's the reason why I wanted to make the video because it really shows me how long I've been on this journey and how far I've really come and keeping a lot of things in perspective so this is way before during the dev the channel um, and this is before coding bootcamp. This is still when I was completely just building websites on my own with HTML, CSS, and using Bootstrap. And yeah, I wanna share this with you guys. I hope that it inspires you. I hope that you can learn something from it, take something away from it. These are very personal thoughts. And um, I hope that it can just really help somebody and I hope you guys enjoy it. It starts off saying the jock journey. So as the title of this post suggests, just a few years ago, my life revolved around learning a defensive playbook at Austin P. State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. If you're not sports savvy, it's all good. Defensive playbook refers to American football jargon for the thick book of play calls, position responsibilities, field scenarios, audibles, and pretty much anything else that relates to being part of a defensive, offensive, or special team units on a football field. This is what consumed my life for the greater part of five years. 2009 and 2014 was where I put my young head down and focused intently on obtaining the lifelong dream I held since eighth grade, receiving a full out-of-state athletic scholarship offer to attend and play football for an NCAA Division I school. And after four years of relentless pursuit via weight sessions, conditioning, film studying, summer camp, showcases, and much more, the dream was finally achieved in April of 2013 when I received the long-awaited phone call from the head coach at Austin P. State University offering me exactly what I wanted, a full athletic scholarship to a Division I AA school in Tennessee. I'm from Detroit. And then there's my actual roster uh, photo from that year. So then we continue to say, fast forward to August of 2013, and I have officially moved to Clarksville, Tennessee, and begun the new life I dreamed about since age 13. Needless to say, by August of 2014, I had quit my scholarship, dropped out of college, and moved back home to Detroit to begin anew. I'll save the painstaking details of this journey for another post, but the important moral is, be careful what you wish for. Many things seem to be brighter from the outside looking in, and what I realized within the, that crucial year was that for many years, I had been chasing the wrong dream. Though I had finally had everything I had been dreaming and working for, the one thing that was missing was the biggest element that I hadn't considered all of those years, fulfillment. Regardless of how much I loved the sport up until that point, my highest self knew that it was time to part ways and find my true paths of personal fulfillment and happiness, whatever that path may be. Enter web development. What leaving my scholarship behind taught me was that I never truly was the athletic jock or football junkie that I portrayed myself to be for so long. In fact, I'm a very introspective person that loves abstract conversations, solving complex, complex problems, and thinking in out of the box ways about how to solve these problems. Shortly after returning home, a good, a good friend of mine and I started kicking ideas around for an app that we thought the world would love a quote search engine allowing other allowing users to search for any sort of quote in a wide variety of categories. Sounds ridiculous, right? Yeah, I know. But at that time, we thought it'd be an absolute hit in the app world. Our differentiating factor was that instead of just searching for happy quotes or love quotes, that we'd actually allow users to search for quotes from a range of categories from time periods to historical figures to movie directors and philosophers and much more, all in one app. The problem came into play one day where we looked at each other and asked the million dollar question, how do you make an app? The sheer look of confusion on each of our faces let us know that neither of us actually knew and needless to say, our amazing quote app fizzled into nothingness all along 
along with our cluelessness about web development, programming, and computer science. The turning point. After a few disappointing months passed by, I began to hit the internet out of pure curiosity just to see how much work it would be to build and deploy my own mobile application. And the answer was a lot. For the first time, I realized this web development stuff was much more than a simple YouTube tutorial or two from being learned, but instead a lifelong learning experience that was ultimately shaping the entire world around me from my smartphone to smart TV, car Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, almost everything I interacted with on a daily basis was in one way or another affected by web development and computer programming. This was a huge realization. Finally, I had the inspiration I needed to dive into web into this web development stuff. After all, I had already dropped out of college and turned down a scholarship. Was I supposed to re-enroll and accrue massive amounts of debt to learn this stuff? LOL, no. Instead of seeing web development as a massive obstacle of endless computer jargon and languages, I began to view it as my path toward a meaningful and fulfilling career with endless earning potential. But more enticing than the great salary payouts and job security likelihood was the chance to positively affect the world around me through code, just like all the technologies I used every day. Many naysayers in my life made life without a college degree seem to be the absolute worst case scenario for anyone in the US. Stuck working long hours for minimum wage, left without health insurance and benefits, and never having enough money to enjoy the simple things in life after each check. But web development appeared to be a skill, not a degree. Something that even those who attended college and university to study computer science didn't always grasp better than those who had been coding for many years on their own. This is where the light bulb went off. Teaching myself HTML and CSS. It was clear that learning web development wouldn't be easy, but it certainly wasn't impossible. After all, I had already spent the last five years of my life learning and mastering a sport which was ultimately worthless. Why not spend the next few years, if necessary, teaching myself a more useful skill that could soon become my lifelong career? This was my mindset as I approached teaching myself the absolute fundamentals of web development, HTML, and CSS. As with most things, I got off to a rocky start. With understanding the nuances of each language and how I could visually design and build things I was seeing in my head. Things like syntax, HTML containers, and divs definitely make the pro didn't make the process much easier. But then a magical thought occurred. People have been programming and learning to program for years without all the tutorials and resources and online courses we have today. With this in mind, I adopted the mindset that now was the easiest time in history to learn computer programming or web development. Just a few years prior, there would have been no Udemy, YouTube, Free Code Camp, Code Academy, or any of the other hundreds of online resources that teach beginners how to go from learning web development fundamentals to complex concepts like database design, the command line, GitHub, and everything else one might need to build a web or mobile site or application. The key to overcoming the apprehension was not feeling sorry for myself and to force myself to realize that hundreds of thousands of programmers worldwide have been teaching themselves for years. So why should I complain with all the modern ways to learn at my disposal? My tips to aspiring developers, be persistent, code every day, even if it's just for 30 minutes, utilize free resources such as free code camp, code academy, YouTube, etc. Invest in yourself. Spending $10 to $20 on Udemy courses will return its value in no time. Don't be afraid to purchase content specific to your own area of interest. Use a text editor. The sooner you do this, the better. It's important that you feel comfortable with the interfaces, with the interface and features of whichever text editor you choose to use. Stick to a specific set of skills. Are you going to be a front-end or back-end developer? Decide before choosing which languages you'll, you'll spend time learning so that you don't get burnt out or waste time learning things you won't need. Ask others for help. This is crucial to learning how to communicate your thoughts to other developers and also how to understand the way others think in this community. Attending hackathons or meetups is a great way to meet other junior developers or young programmers who are learning like you. And last, build things. Reading tons of eBooks, articles, and blog posts is great. Taking online courses is even better, but none of that means anything if all your knowledge and experience is conceptual. Challenge yourself by putting your, your skills to the test to build things either for yourself or other people, businesses, organizations, or brands. The payoff in the long 
The payoff will go a long way in gaining experience, adding to your portfolio, GitHub, and much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I honestly feel like I don't really need to even say a whole lot about it. I think this just hit me because I wrote this in 2017 and I was going to write another blog post today and it was this was actually getting a lot of replies and claps and it, it made me feel really good. And I was like, wow, man, this is old. Like, why, why are people why are people like like I guess we're reading this and replying to it, but it, it was a good feeling to go back and read it and see how much I had really taken away at even at this time. This was probably about a year and a half into my, my web development journey way before any back-end programming came into anything, guys. And it just goes to show you that if you start somewhere and you document your journey or if you just focus on whatever your outcome is and work towards it, in no time, guys, you'll you'll be much better than you were. And the things that used to be difficult to you or the obstacles that, that used to seem huge to you, I mean, you'll be surprised at how quickly you learn things when you're passionate about it and when you just want to you just want to get better, you just want to build things. And um, this this is a very like personal story for me. I haven't even made a video about my scholarship yet or anything. I've, I talk about it in some videos, but I haven't really gone into detail. I didn't even go into detail in this blog post because there's a lot that goes into it. And I do plan to make a video about that, guys. But again, I just, you know, hearing myself reflect on this like two years ago now at this point in reading this post, um, it, it really lifted my spirit a lot because I've come a long way and I'm, I'm a much better programmer, much better programmer than I was when I wrote this blog post. But you know, everything I said in here is, is actually true and still true like today. And, uh, you know, that like everything I was saying about realizing that people have been learning this for years, like even the stuff I'm still learning today, like people have been learning this stuff before we had all the resources we have now. And so I can't complain about it. I just have to learn it. You know what I mean? And not even just that, but this, this was a process I started years ago, guys. And you know, I'm not even going to sit up here and say that I programmed every single day since this blog post. There was a time before coding boot camp where I was just working a job and I wasn't programming every day, guys like that. That's true. But it did end up leading to a better career for me, a life changing career for me. I do make more money than I've ever made before right now. And it's all due to going to coding boot camp and taking coding seriously and actually coding every single day and actually learning this and appreciating it for how it affects our lives every day everything that we use and touch and appreciating it and not looking at it as something difficult that i have to learn or whatever but something i'm curious about something that i want to learn something that is a tool that can change the world and if you look at it that way you don't mind putting the hours in because it can change your life and it has for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this blog post um Leave me some comments down below, guys. Make sure you check out the description section where I'm giving away freebies. So check out the freebie section. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making videos for you guys. This is Darian with Darian the Dev, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? Peace.